Hey everybody, it's Friday morning and uh, today is gonna be an interesting day of work. Why, you might ask? Because my MacBook Pro with the touch bar and all the schmazzy, schmancy stuff, um, it is broken. It's gonna be at the Apple Store in the shop for like the next two or three days. Um, but I gotta get work done. <laughs> so the good news is it'll hopefully be back tomorrow or the next day before I start on Monday. The bad news is that I have to get work done today. And then the even more bad news is I've decided to try to work on my son's Chromebook. Do you see it's a, it's a Chromebook. Today, I'm gonna document my experience about uh, whether or not a designer can or should work on a Chromebook, which I feel like I already know the answer to this, and I feel like today's gonna be painful, but we're gonna try anyways. Okay, in all fairness, a Chromebook is not meant to be used uh, for design work like I do. On any given day, I could be coding a website, I could be designing some interfaces, laying out some, U like some UX flows, um, or even doing things like animation and video production. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do everything on this machine. Let's take a look at this computer and before we start, see what it is and what I'm working with, all right? So this is a Dell Inspirian Chromebook. It's rocking a Core i3 processor, and it is running off of the uh, Google Chrome quote unquote operating system, which really there's not much to. Uh, it's a nicer Chromebook. It's, I think that's like a 15 inch or a third, I think it's a 15 inch. I don't know, really bad at measuring, measuring. Uh, but it's also the kind that folds and becomes a tablet. So that's kind of interesting. Like when I do that, it, it, the keys on the back no longer work. And it's also a touch screen. So that's interesting. I've, I haven't really done any touch screen stuff. It also comes with a little stylus that's tucked away in there. Let's see if we ever use that today. And the kind of things that it really has access to um, is, I don't know, like Google Chrome, Google Docs. Um, and I think it's running off of Android, um, like operating system kind of thing because there's access to the Google Play Store. Okay, now I suppose you know my struggle. Um, I am gonna get started. I'm gonna start working here. I do have, like I mentioned earlier, my iPad that I might be using full time for like Slack communication. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I have my phone, uh, just, I don't know why, just to, I don't know, I have it. <laughs> The issues that I'm having, um, the uh, uh, only being able to use Figma in the browser like so is okay, but it's not great. Um, it, uh, it just feels like I can get some stuff done. I've been able to actually get like a little, little bit done. Um, but I haven't been able to get a lot done. One thing I do like, let me tell you, let me show you this, is I really like being able to just like zoom in and like pinch and kind of zoom around the screen like this. I like that. Um, Slack works just fine, but uh, I did a little bit of searching and I couldn't find any way for me to, I could do like, okay, listen, I could do some web development. Because the thing is, it's not just for funsies. I'm not just, coding around and making so I could open up a code pen, I could open up a JS fiddle, but that's not gonna help me because I have to get actual projects done and push them up to the repo and make them go live. So that is out, code is out. Uh, obviously, any sort of video or animation production also out. Um, it feels a little slow moving um, and I just, <sighs> in Figma and getting a few things done like that. So what I actually can get done is a lot more administrative work today, which is I can get a little bit of project management done, I can get a little communication done, I can get slight tweaks in the design files done, but that's 
I'm feeling like I'm, that's about it. I'm limited to that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that and see how far we can go, but I might have to cut this experiment short and I might have to, uh, I might have to just say goodbye for the day and uh, not work today. Um, let's go, let's do it. Update of the day. I'm drinking a mineral water called Topo Chico. Uh, it's basically just water with a twist of lime. That's quite enjoyable. I'm doing some interface design stuff um, inside of Figma, but that's it. I'm, I'm locked down. And I'm doing a lot of administrative things in the realm of design. So um, I'm taking on some tickets or some tasks that are like <laughs> documenting things that are in the app um, and making slight changes. I'm having font issues. Um, I'm having performance issues like even just using Figma, moving things around, like the computer at times is sounding like a jet engine um, coming in for a landing. Really interesting side note, I'm designing this interface and I was kind of studying like navigational models and patterns. I remember a long time ago reading a book about like some different navigation patterns and sure enough, it's an O'Reilly book that I had sitting on my shelf about designing interfaces. And you can see all my like notes and my tabs and stuff in there because a long time ago, it's the book is a little bit dated. When did this book? come out in 2011, but a lot of things still hold true in here. And so I literally, no joke, two fun like things that I found. The first page that I opened up to where it had like a bookmark in it was navigational models and uh, the, pa the pattern that I was looking for was this pyramid. And then uh, fun thing number two. Wow, fun thing number two and three. I just found a third one. Uh, here is a brochure that I designed uh, for a tour company that I worked for. A little rack card. Look at those atrocious colors. Look at the amount of plumerias and turtles and all sorts of stuff all over this. I'm not sure if that's papyrus, uppercase. It's not far off though, it's pretty bad. And then as a second little treat, I figured I would show you uh, this little guy. This is a little, little poster that I designed for a band that I was in. That's, that's young 23 year old Jesse right there. Hold on, let me, let me really get in there so you can see that guy. Hey, look at that. But look at, I designed that guy. That's ugly, look at that. <laughs> I just figured I would show that to you guys. Well, that is it for the experiment. Pretty much wraps it up for the day. I am actually, I'm cutting out of work a couple hours early. I'm doing like a half day because in the end, I was able to get a couple things done. I was actually able to prototype and design some screens. I was able to chat with my team. Uh, I was able to access Dropbox and do some writing and just some administrative stuff, but I was not able to do the type of work that I want to do. Big surprise, right? Obviously, because it's a Chromebook and it's not meant for this level of operation. But I will say, um, I'm actually surprised that I could even do uh, the little amount that I was able to do on it, but I give the majority of that props to Figma because they're a browser-based design tool. So if it was not for Figma, I literally would have just sat here and twiddled my thumbs. So the big winner of today is Figma. Uh, second in line is this little fellow for letting me do anything really. And uh, I think third is me for dealing with the frustration so well. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for even attempting this craziness. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you have benefited off of my pain. Um, and for that, I think you should probably leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I do silly things like this every once in a while. Um, hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you have a really awesome weekend because it's Friday. Uh, spend some time relaxing um, and getting all of your tech right so that when Monday morning comes, you can get some work done. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you later.